हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन फंक्शंस चैप्टर एज वेल एज इन्वॉल्विंग एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव्स एंड सम कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस आल्सो सो इट इज अ ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन एज डेरिवेटिव्स नाउ द एफ डेस एक्स इज गिवन एज थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व एक्स प्लस पी विच इज ए क्वाड्रेटिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो गिवन दैट द एफ डेस एक्स हैज एन एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री it equals to x equals to q so this x equals to 2 q is the axis of symmetry now we know this vertex of this parabola in a quadratic expression is minus b by 2a in minus d by 4a so if you have this information now we can we can think of that f dash x is equals to 3x square Minus twelve x plus p, and we know this x equals to q, where q will be equals to minus b by two a. The vertex of the parabola in a quadratic expression is minus b by two a minus d by four a, as discussed before. So q is equals to minus b by two a, which is equals to minus minus of twelve divided by two into three. Which is twelve by six or two. So we now we know the value of q. That means f dash x will be equals to three x square minus twelve x plus p, and where its one of the vertex is two comma minus d by four a. Now let us move on to the b part. In the b part, we have to identify the discriminant of f dash x. And it is also given that the vertex of the graph of f dash x lies on the x-axis. So, if the graph of the vertex of the x lies on the x-axis, that means it has repeated roots. That means it has two roots, but both roots are identical. And this is only and only true when d is equals to zero. So, the discriminant of this particular quadratic expression will be zero. we have to identify the value of p now there are multiple ways in which we can identify the value of p but we know since the discriminant of this quadratic expression is zero so we know b square minus 4ac must be equals to zero now b square is minus 12 square minus 4 into 3 into p and this must be equal to zero So one hundred forty-four minus twelve p equals to zero. So p is equals to twelve. So we know the value of p is equals to twelve. Now let us try to find the value of the gradient of the graph of f dash x at x equals to zero. So to identify this, we need to know what is f dash x. Now three x square minus twelve x p. now we have to find the gradient of this curve so the gradient of this curve at a particular point we first we have to identify its derivative which will be equals to 6x minus 12 so if we know this derivative and at x equal to value of x is equals to 0 so at x equals to 0 the gradient of f dash x will be equals to the value of at f double dash x at zero, which will be equals to minus twelve. So the gradient is minus twelve. So now let us move on to the next. In the d part, we have to identify. We have to draw the graph of f double dash x, the second derivative of the function f. So We have already identified f double dash x in the previous part, which is six x minus twelve. So we have to basically plot a straight line, which is six minus twelve. So let us see. These are our coordinate axes. This is x axis. This is y axis. So if we put x equals to zero, this is the value zero comma minus twelve, and we know at x equals to two. This will be zero. So this is the straight line, and it passes through two comma zero and zero comma minus twelve. So this is the graph of f double dash x equal to 
6x minus 12. So now let us move on to the next part. So in the E part, uh, it is given that that graph F has a point of inflection at x equals to A. So at x equals to A, there is a point of inflection and we have to identify the value of A and then we have to identify the part of graph which is concave down and also identify the values for which this graph is concave down so let us see how do we how do we find the point of inflection now the point of inflection is a point where f double dash x changes sign that is the second derivative changes sign now our second derivative is 6x minus 12 or 6 into x minus 2 so we know this changes sign at the point x equal to 2 here it is positive and here it is negative so the point of inflection point of inflection is where the f double dash x changes sign and it will be at x equals to 2 so the value of a is 2 now in the next part or the e final part of e we have to identify the graph where it is concave down now we have to understand what is the condition for being concave down a graph is concave down on those intervals where f double dash x is less than zero now we know f double dash x is less than zero all values of x less than two as shown in the previous part so the graph is concave down for all values of x less than 2 so this is the solution of your final part and for more such questions and their detailed explanations and discussion do visit our website and register